Okay, so I was driving to my in-laws and I see this out the side of my window. This is a swarm of bees. I thought they might have been our, my, our bees, the bees at our house, but they are not. So I've got a guy coming out that he's going to take this and make this his hive. Our bees are good and healthy, so I don't need these. Um, this guy helps me out with my bees, so it was an easy decision to help him out. He lost a couple hives in the big freeze, so he's going to come get these. Yeah. Oh, that bottom there. I, 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 okay, I was a yuck. You'll Oops. grab that, get that box right up underneath there. There you go. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna shake it. Okay, Isaiah, could you look in my bag? And there's a brush oh. there. You're right, I did get stung. Alright. Did you? Yeah, it's fine. It's good for me. I guess I'll go suit up now. <laughs> He's around this side now. Okay, how many do we, let's see here. Okay, yeah, we got, we got some left. Hopefully she wasn't at the bottom of that. Yeah. But, well, look, um. Put right here real quick and let me just. Make sure <sighs> she's not swarmed up there. No. I'm not seeing well, any. I hate to leave all those. I've got to build me a vacuum. Um, yeah, I see that idea. A vacuum? We could go right in there and Z zip them all up. Yeah. We wouldn't have to leave any of them behind. All right. That is quite a few. Because they will cluster on her, but those could be your. You want me to check, see if there's still a cluster here in the morning? Yeah. Because um, what, probably, what do they do otherwise? There'll probably be a cluster here in the morning. It'll be probably tomorrow afternoon. I might run back out here. They may climb back up on here. And if the queen's here, they'll definitely stay here. Yeah. But you never know when they're going to leave. That's the problem. Yeah. We probably need to back away from you. Get stung with oh, yeah. I've already been stung a second um, time. but I'll probably, I'll probably run out here again in the morning, Chris, and just see where they're at. Okay. And... Uh, Yeah, that's still, that's several hundred bees right there. Yeah. I'd, I'd be guessing that'd be pushing close to a thousand right there, wouldn't you? Um. Because, I mean, they're pretty thick down there. I'd say two, three hundred. I wouldn't say a thousand, maybe five hundred. Yeah. But, I mean, you probably caught. Oh. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. Okay, I got another one on me. Yeah, come on, let's, let's get Chris, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. You appreciate it when you, you help me. If you ever need anything, and I got it, you, you can use it. Okay, so that's how you catch a bee swarm. Pretty easy. Um, I did get stung. I only wore my hat covering. Um, got stung right there. Oh, you can see it. Swelling up. Um, hand feels a little numb. So I'm in the shop because I need to make sure I don't have any bees on me. It is okay if I get stung by a bee. But Declan is very allergic to any invasive stings. Mosquito bites. Anything. So I think I'm good. I think I got all the bees off. I go inside. Um, I shut my windows on the house. I was I was pretty close to the house. Make sure no bees get in. Yesterday I was stung by a bee when we caught that swarm. This is my hive over here. You see the bees coming out of the front of it. I can actually feel the hum of the box, the bees in the box. So it's a good, healthy hive. <clears throat> I'm uh, 
gonna go check the swarm and actually I left some bees in the car so we will see if there are any bees still in the car hopefully they don't get stung again my arm so I got stung somewhere right in there I think I got it yeah it's right in the middle of the screen that little white spot right there that's where I got stung so it was swollen just in that spot now it's just my whole forearm is swollen my wrist feels like it's got arthritis uh, I can feel it all swollen and uh, yeah it's not a lot of fun I think as I get stung more and more it's getting worse which means I may be acquiring an allergy to bee stings um, hope that doesn't ever happen but it's possible so let's go check the car see if there's any bees in there okay so I'm in the car now I'm not seeing any bees I cranked the AC up or the fan up so there's no bees in the vents I think we're good I'm still just gonna drive I'm gonna put the window down just in case so they have a place to fly out and hopefully not sting me okay so here we are back at where the swarm was the swarm is still here there's, there's bees around and they're not happy there's still a little swarm there so I'm gonna see there might be a queen in there I don't know I'm gonna see if he wants to come back out and catch the rest of these okay so I talked to the guy that picked up the bees last night and they're acting weird they're searching for something going into other hives so we think the queen is still right here and that's what they're searching for so he's gonna come out and get the rest of these bees and hopefully their queen is in there they settle down they get in the hive that he's trying to put them in and behave okay so I'm suited up this time here we are again to get the rest of the bees uh, hopefully the queen is in there I'm gonna set this camera up in the car because it's raining outside okay so we're all done the camera didn't record that part I must have turned the camera off and put it instead of pressing record but we got the bees in the nuke box there's only about I don't know 20 or 30 left on that post there um, we didn't see the queen in that small amount of bees so we're pretty sure she's gone he's gonna take those bees and put them in front of the box of the other bees and they should migrate to wherever the queen is and then take her to the bigger hive um, a little nuke box is just a small hive but that's all done I didn't get sting this stung this time so we're good to go thanks for watching if you like this uh, subscribe um, hit the like button on the video if you want honey we do have honey some honey um, of course while supplies last I won't I only harvest once a year um, and the harvest the bees are harvesting honey right now you see all these white flowers that's all clover makes really good honey but they're harvesting pollen right now putting honey away for the spring and then when these flowers all die when the temperature at night gets around 75 um, and doesn't drop below that most of these flowers will die and it'll turn to the summer flowers and they won't start blooming until it's good and hot um, sometimes um, these flowers will endure but not all the time but I like to wait for the fall flower bloom um, there aren't much in summer so 
the bees will use the honey they're gathering right now to get them through the hot summer months um, and they will harvest a lot of water um, be bringing a lot of water in uh, so I like to wait for fall so I can leave them enough honey through winter um, we do think that these bees came from my hive and my hive split um, because they were pretty docile docile bees but my hive is so healthy that it could lose it had bees to lose there were too many bees in the hive I need to add to the hive uh, throw some more boxes on it so that they don't split again and they can grow but they actually have quite a bit of room if you need honey we still have honey um, if you need to get a hold of me I'll put the funeral home number up on the screen you can call that have them get in get in touch with me I don't have the best reception out here so that's the best way and they will pass the message along I'll call you back and we can get you some honey thanks for watching I'll see you next time